all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Just here from Porky's Corner. Today I'm joined by Mickey Theo from Essex. Thought we'd have a bit of a catch up, do something a little bit different, a bit a bit of an off boxing topic. How are you doing, Mick? Yeah, very well, thanks. You so? Yeah, right. I'm all right, mate. A uh, couple of things. Nice weather out there. You what, mate? Nice weather in South today. Fifteen yeah, degrees. Yeah, it's not. It's not so bad up here. It's a bit. It's a mm. bit. Uh, it's no snow anyway. It's raining, but it's a bit warmer. Yes. Yeah. I've been. Uh, we 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 covered the incident about the uh, the dog. Somebody this this Ray Hill guy did he? Is that the guy who accused you? He, he's popped up again. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, but f um, funny enough for us, I watched the um, the YouTube thing on him last night, and I was I was quite surprised and shocked the shit that's coming out of that geezer's mouth. Yeah. Yeah? Which, we, we, when you mentioned about some dogs being shot, I shot someone's dog. Well, when I went into it, I, I watched the movie, and uh, him talking a load of shit, as a crackhead would, um, saying that I went in, broke in his house, shot his windows out, done this, done that, and shot his dog. I thought, I've never heard of this guy, number one, yeah? Number two, I've never heard of him. And number three, He's just a crackhead to me. Uh, the shit he's coming out with, seriously, he's, he's unbelievable. And and I think he did say that he wants to fight me as well. And I'm a wanker. And uh, I think he wants some fame in his life. Uh, he's missing something. Because when he left, you know, I think in his, in his um, podcast, he was talking about he was, um, was it IIP or something like that? IPP sentence. He got an IPP sentence. And to get out of prison, you had to do a three courses and pass them. If you're not passing them, them free courses that they give you, you're not allowed into society. I yeah. think, Ray, if you're listening to this, you need to go back to the nick that you come out of, mate. Go and recalibrate your fucking brain and put it straight, mate, because you're an arsehole and a crackhead, yeah? So all I've got to say to you, if you want me, you get in touch with a geezer that you've got put, put the picture on the fucking uh, the screen, your best pal, get him to speak to his brother, you come and see me, my friend, if you, if you want to see me, yeah? Yeah, I don't want to see you because you're a crackhead. You're a no good cunt. You talk a load of shit at your arsehole. Okay, so fuck off. Yeah. I hope you get the picture. Anyway, fuck him, wanker. <laughs> you want to fight me as well, you cunt? You're an old man. Yeah, you're an old man. I'm blowing you, you fucking. I'll piss all over you, cunt. Yeah, but I'm a humble guy. I don't do shit like that, and I don't take liberties with old men like you, crackheads. Yeah, go and have a fucking smoke your pipe, you cunt. Yeah. Sorry for me getting a bit anxious no, with so this I, I did say to you, mate. Crackhead yeah. for you, and it? Social media crackheads, yeah? They've got nothing else better to do, yeah? Mind your own fucking business, what I do with John Fury, eh? I've challenged him for a good cause, the NHS, not the fucking NHS crack that like you take, you cunt. In other news, water's wet. <laughs> hey? You know, I see where you're coming from. I did mention this to you a couple of weeks ago, mate, because I obviously I get loads of emails. I was gobsmacked, you know, when I, when I fucking watched it. Panama rings me, hey, he says, you got to fucking get up and say something about it. I said, I can't be asked for these people. I don't speak to them on the phone. I don't, I just delete them, yeah. you know? But I just thought I'd get out to him, you know, that prick. You know, even putting pictures of certain people on the internet, you shouldn't do that with that person, yeah? Well, he knows what I'm talking about, and, and the rest of the public knows what I'm talking about, yeah? He's good stuff, the geezer come on, on, on camera. He shouldn't even be on the camera and say he's his best pal. You know what I mean? Where are you Lenny's pal? Who's? Sorry. This guy, was he Lenny? Uh, make... The other thing, he's pal that he showed up on the screen. Yeah. So-called geezer called Pat. Yeah. Was he Lenny's pal? Yeah, Lenny knew all of them, yeah. Is, uh, is this... Good Red stuff, they are, good stuff. Yeah. Is this Ray bloke, is he pals with Lenny or what he pals with Ray? Lenny? Listen, mate, if, if he was pals with Lenny, well, apparently in his podcast, because I've been watching it again, funny enough, trying to get my head around, you know, what things were he saying. He was saying that I came down with Lenny. Now, fucking hell, if Lenny walked in his fucking door, he wouldn't have to, he don't use guns. He, he's on the phone first, Lenny, then he'll go down and visit the geezer. Yeah. He will fucking last two seconds, him and his team. With Lenny turning up, you know what I mean? Never heard of the geezer. I don't want to hear about him. All he is is a crackhead. A no good cunt of a crackhead. Yeah. Mm. And that's what? coming from my heart, mate. Yeah. Don't what? fucking mention my name in your scallywag, scumbag, crackhead fucking bollocks come out with. Never heard of you. Never seen you in my life. I've done what you're talking about. So go and choose on some other cunt. 
you know, sometimes, mate, uh, social media, people can get a little bit carried away in a story. Like, obviously, John Fury gets carried away with his bare knuckle under grand fight stories, doesn't he? And do you think this Ray might have got a little bit carried away with expressing himself about his life and that? Listen, mate, I don't know what fucking level this cunt in Ray's on, yeah? I think he's still on the crack the way he's talking, you know what I mean? That's crack talk, the way he's talking. Yeah. Anyway, there's someone in his house shot his dog and he's fucking going in this safe secret fucking passage he's got trying to get his son in there. What a fucking wanker bottle job you are hiding in your fucking room. Yeah, next minute you're saying, yeah, I'll fucking take him. I'll challenge him. Yeah, he's a cunt. He's a wanker. <laughs> He just what? proved, he's told you what he's done. He's in, in the fucking secret room because someone's out there. This all sounds a bit James Bondish, this, doesn't it? Secret passage. Exactly. Oh, it's that, crack, it? bond, crack bondage, you know? <sighs> Suck on that pipe, you know what I mean? Oh, it's that. Yeah. Oh, it's like that. I've never done it before. I, <laughs> I was doing a long one down here. No, that'll be, that'll, you know, mate, that'll be a good lump of crack, won't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, that's yeah. the street pipe you're doing there, Mick. Maybe shisha, yeah. I've sucked on a shisha before. Yeah. But, uh, but um, yeah, silly cunt is anyway. Yeah. Look at the state of the way he's talking. You've seen, have you seen I've the seen video? It, yeah. I watched it, mate. Yeah, um, just... When you mentioned it to me, I didn't even look at it. I only watched it last night and I thought, what the cheeky fucking crackhead cunt he is. Yeah. No good cunt. At that age, how can you talk like that at your age? How can you go on YouTube and talk at that age? Yeah. And the piece, this person, I found out, Mickey Gooch. He doesn't even live in fucking London. He's got nothing to do with London. He lives abroad, I've heard from good sources. Yeah. Yeah. And Atten Garden, he knows who runs Atten Garden, doesn't he? This prick. You, prick, cunt, Ray, crackhead. You know who runs the garden. Yeah. Powers of mine. They run the garden, mate. Get in touch with them if you want to see me, you prick. You do realise once this video comes out, he's gonna, he's, he might come looking for you, Mick, or something. Um, come on then, yeah, come and look for me, you crackhead. Mm. You come and look for me, I don't waste my time going to look for you because you're, you're too old for me, my friend. I'll smack your little bum and put you to bed, okay? Not interested in you, you crackhead. Go back to fucking cracking it with fucking scumbags out there. That's what you are, mate. I know good scumbag cunt. Excuse my French, everyone. No, you know what? He's a little bit in the air, and I shouldn't really be talking to that. I shouldn't even acknowledge that prick, you know what I mean? But just, just for the, the level, um, I've never heard of him, never seen him in my life. And he's talking about me and using my name because I'm talking, gone calling out John Fury for good cause. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh... The same with John Fury. Come out, you fucking wanker, if you want it, okay? Stop hiding. Yeah, I'm here. For the NHS, and that's it, yeah? You fucking wanker as well. Yeah? Your son, Tyson, calls fucking AJ a chicken, a fucking chicken. You must got it from me. Yeah? You're a fucking chicken. And you, you, your son knows what a chicken is because AJ don't want to fight him. Yeah? yeah? I'm on your son's side. But no one's on your fucking side about fighting me, are they? Because you're a fucking wanker as well. Excuse my French. Yeah? Yeah. It's all going off in Essex today, making it. Listen, like I said, I saved it for the ring. I'm not the fucking dog that fucking barks. Yeah? yeah. I'm the dog with a lovely bite. So Fury, John Fury, come out and see a big bite I can give you. It's hard. Mm. Pussy. You fucking coward. Yeah. When yeah. you're ready, mate, get on the fucking blower. Let's get it on, you fucking pussy. Yeah. Have you found him yet, Russ? No, Still he's, hiding, he's nobody's seen, seen or heard anything from him. Maybe he's having a fucking crackhead with fucking Ray Hill, his partner. <laughs> it might be his partner, Ray Hill. Yeah, I don't think John, up for him. John's not into drugs or like that. He has a beer and that. He's not a drug man. But well, I'm pleased to hear. But uh, that Ray, I, I, I did watch it myself and... That's first time I'd never heard of him, to be honest. I'd never heard of him. He's obviously some old time guy. Is he from Freddie Foreman's era? I don't fuck. I think he's from fucking Cuckoo Land era. <laughs> Honestly, Cuckoo Land fucking era. That's where he's from, mate. Yeah. How the fuck? Think about it, Russ. It's, let's say that was our dad. 
Yeah. 78, nearly 80 years of age, get on a fucking neutral, talking like a fucking plastic gangster. Hey? Eh? I've seen a how lot of these low, types. How low can you go? Let me tell you this, Mick, right? You know, in the last few months, uh, you know, we're spending a bit of time at, at home or you, you, you're stuck in your office and you have a flick through. And I watched, uh, I've watched some of these clips. Uh, James English sitting down with former gangster. Now, I do know somebody, uh, somebody who's in my WhatsApp uh, who's been on there. I'm not going to mention his name. And he got a big sentence, and I've seen him on there. And he, he yes, he's, he, he's, I'm not going to say his second name, he's called John. He, he's a genuine, he wasn't every guy in Liverpool, but there's some of these people that are on there. I'm not going to say all the people's names, but some of them I've actually been in jail with, and I've seen how they live their lives and who visits them. And, and the spinning stories about being roadman gangsters and roadman killers, but. When they were in jail, they hardly got a visit. They were walking around like dossers wearing Gola trainers, blah de blah. I know that's not nothing to do with Price of Fish, but seeing how they lived a life in there, and then I see other people, I'm not going to mention any names, things getting thrown over the fence, you know, mobile phones, drugs, booze, KFCs, and people walking around in nice clothes and screws <clears> fetching <throat> bottles of water in for them, but they're not water, it's vodka. And then I see these people that spinning these stories about what they did and this and that, and I'm thinking, now that won't, that didn't happen when you were in jail, when I was in jail. Exactly, you you've seen it straight away video. in front of the camera. So I don't know what to make of it. Maybe it's a society problem. I don't know. <clears throat> but uh, and you're I, right, mate. You're right. I did percent to. Uh, I didn't used to have anything thrown up at prison, up at prison fence, and I never threw up for anybody else because I'm a good guy. But, uh, <laughs> but no, I, I have seen the Ray Hill thing, and that he's describing you to me, Mick, is not how, since I've met you, he, he's two to yeah. talking people. But I bet you're raging, aren't you, Mick, now you've watched it. Last night, you know, I, I looked at it, I thought, fucking hell. I think I, I just said to, to Rut, you last time, let's not even talk about this, I've never heard of him, didn't I? But now you've seen it. Yeah. You understand why I'm getting all these emails and text messages from all these yeah, people. Yeah, and I thought to myself, this is fucking prick. You know what? I'm thinking, I've never heard of him, never seen him. I'm not, I wasn't even there. I wasn't even me. Why is he using my name? Yeah? Don't use my name. He's trying to get... I don't know what he's trying to get out of this podcast he's done. Yeah. I don't know. Using my name, saying I'm a wanker, then he wants to fight me. He's a fucking granddad. I, I wouldn't, I'd have some respect not to fight him. You know what I mean? You're not going to get any respect clipping somebody nearly 80, are you, mate? Exactly. You know what I mean? Um, it's not in my nature anyway. You know no, what I mean? I know that, mate. I know that. Um, but. Listen, if someone comes at you, you've got to do something to them, ain't you? You have to put him in an headlock. Maybe grab hold of him and give him a kiss. <laughs> pinch, but grab hold of him, mate. Put him in an headlock and just pinch his cheeks. You know, so what are yeah. you doing, Raymond? I'll, I'll bend him over. I've got to get my fucking trainer off and saying, smack his bum and say, naughty, naughty, naughty boy. Ray Hill, you're naughty boy. <laughs> you want to Maybe you like that. Maybe he's a kinky cunt. Mate, you've just done your said on Porky's corner. <laughs> What's that? You've just done yourself <laughs> saying that on here. God, all vultures will be out now, mate, for you. <laughs> now, I know what you mean, mate, but sometimes you just have to... Uh, some things have to be addressed. That has to be... Like, I had to address that. John Fury is saying, Porky, you're not going to blow your job around any Thompson of my brother Peter. And when he said that, we're like, that. Ah. So exactly. that a spot for John, actually, but... Obviously, I am. <coughs> but... Do you know what? When you watch him, like he was doing his water advert, or he's doing a little video, he's quite subtle and quite a down to earth guy at the end of it, isn't he? John. Deep down, that's what he, I know that's what he good is. Good company, John. He's good company, mate. But no, sometimes... seriously, I can see through him what he's all about. Yeah. yeah? So he doesn't have to get, put a fucking a face on that he's something else because he is what he is at the end of the day. Listen, we're all human beings at the end of the day. It's how we act amongst people, yeah. in front of people, or behind the doors. Why do you want to be different? You are who you are at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And act how you are. Don't, uh, do you know what upsets me sometimes? What I can't, sorry, not upsets me. Can't get my head around it. Yeah? What? 
I've got some close black guys, friends, best pals, some of them, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I even said it to them. How come? And how come when a black man talks to a white man, yeah? They talk on a level, yeah? Yeah. I see the brother coming up and the, the language, body work, everything changes, yeah? They start talking different. And I say, call my pal. I say, what's that about? You know? Yeah. Why don't you just talk the way we normally talk? Yeah, it's a back home thing, this and that, you know what I mean? I said, well, you're in the UK, you know what I mean? But I can't get my head around it. I don't have any of that in my company. If people, if people start talking to me like normal, and then they see another somebody from their area, and they start talking. Yeah, but like listen, when their good power's yours, you know what I mean? You know, it's hard. Yeah, you but listen, have to be very it is what it is. What listen, there's loads. Of, listen, <laughs> one of my powers, mate. I met him on my club door. Yeah, yeah. turned up fifty and added. You know, I tell you, I tell you the story for. We're best powers now. It was me and him having the fucking tear up. The rest, fucking man, stops. You know what I mean? He's, he's very... That's how we met. It's very easy to offend people or say the wrong thing. I think I think I think I might have said something in an interview with uh, somebody, and I got some word wrong or somebody. So I, I think it might have been Rico. So I don't think you're allowed to say that now. That word. I went. All oh, right. What, oh, what word? I forget what word it was. Now Rico Rico uh, pointed it out to me. And I said, "All oh, right. Oh, okay." Listen, I'm not colour prejudiced. My fucking like I said, I my best powers like. What a, a, a colour. So I forget what word it was now. <laughs> Look, you, you have to be very careful what you say, but if you've got if you're big hearted and you mean well, you can get away with anything these days, can't you? Yeah. I thought that Ray Hill's interview, uh, I mean, when I, when somebody said it to me, who oh, it were, I says, Oh, is yeah. it it's Billy Hill? Because Billy Hill used to run London in the 50s, didn't he? Who was, I don't know, I'm just on the thing now. Um, Ray Hill against the talks beef with Mickey Fio getting shot, IPP sentence. Beef. Who was the beef? Who was the king? Sorry. Intense beef. Is there intense beef there, or is it raw beef, man? No, gangster talks beef with Mickey oh. Theo getting shot. Talks beef. Who's KRNT? Who's KRNTV anyway? He's a cunt as well, isn't he? Hey, KRNTV, whoever they are. You heard of them? Never heard of them, mate. KRNTV. Mate, I don't think it's intense beef. I think it's probably just uh, corn beef. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Mickey Theo's corn beef with Ray Hills. You'll end up fighting over a corn beef sandwich with a bit of HP fruit. To, to it's it's fucking dog. crazy. It's crazy what people come out with nowadays. And if, like you say, people say social media. I don't fucking really get involved with it. But I've had to, I've had to uh, just to say what I had to say today. Um, just get it out of my, my, my mind, I suppose. That's to blow a bit of steam off, aren't you, mate? There's no wrong with a bit of steam blowing off. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, look at them in uh, in Bubble the other day, Richard Towers. He's blown a bit of steam off, hasn't he? And cracked someone, hasn't he? <laughs> Did he? Yeah, he stuck it on that Neil Marsh. All right. No, the, obviously, the fight's tonight, isn't it? Kelly against Stephen Eshan. Yeah. A bit of beef. It's been, it's been called off. This is fourth time yeah. it's been arranged and... There's a bit of beef there, and everybody's yeah. been all nice as pie since you know there were a bit of a flare up other day, other afternoon. But look, it, it, it's boxing, isn't it? But I bet Eddie and we're loving it really because uh, he can sell fight a bit better now. But in my opinion, mm. till yeah. I speak to Richard, I'm going to look at it as a load of knackers and a put up job because I like to read into conspiracies. But it won't, it, I won't put it past them creating a bit of fake beef just to sell fight. But there's no pay per view, mm. so. Maybe he has stuck it on somebody. I don't know, but it's all sorted now. They're, everybody's happy. They're all best mates playing ping pong and all that. Well, good luck to him. But look, it's boxing, isn't it? People fall out and say things and do things. And this guy mm. always called you out and said that he shot his dog. He was smashed his house up and all that and whatever. And you were with Lenny. And look, I mean, if why were you going down that? there in the first place anyway? If you even went down there. Exactly. And you know what? Why is it taking, I don't know how many years he's talking about going back. Why is it taking so long to just get well, something out now? 35 years or something. What's all that He's about? the man. He's the main man. He gets in as far as with everyone. Why is he saw that? This, if, if it was me, like he says it's me, which it ain't, why hasn't he come up and approached me or said something through his best pal that he's put on TV? I don't yeah? know, Mick. I want that. Why haven't you me? Why haven't you had you served up, mate? Why haven't you had you served up, mate? They can get hold of me. They're proper people. And yeah, you know what? 
I used to work in their clubs back in the day. They know me double well. <laughs> yeah, but Mick... Why, why haven't I heard of him? Yeah, Mick, why hasn't he had you served up if he's such a big, heavy guy? You got it. You know, one thing I've learned about being around people that uh, can be a bit naughty uh, is they don't play their hand. They just go do it, mate. So I want, you know, somebody like him screaming and shouting, I want, I don't read too much into it. Oh, you know that. And uh, that's what I always say about people, yeah? They do the fucking, they do the fucking barking and no fucking biting. That's what they are. What's done, what's done you in though, Mick, is he said it on, on, a, on, a, on a channel and it's gone out there and people have... Yeah, just... even a pal of mine rang me up today said to me, are you in that cunt? Who is he? I said, I said, what do you mean say to me? He said, fucking cheeky cunt. You know what I mean? He said, you should fucking call him up and fucking give it to him. I said, I can't do it. He's an old man. You know what I mean? I have morals as well, you know, and I respect my... I've always been told to respect my orders, you know what I mean? And that's what I do. Um, but, uh, no, he's just got nothing else better to talk about. Like I say, he's a little bit up there. Uh, probably uh, cracks affect him over the years. So he's just a fucking no one, isn't he? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, he's... Uh... You can tell the way he talks. All The, all, the whole interview... Fucking is and fucking out and you're fucking... Oh, just a load of bollocks, a load of fucking shit. Yeah, Mick, what, I, what I would take from it is this, right? The guy's obviously has been released from an IPP sentence, and some of my friends have been on them. You've only got a pee in the street and they recall you for three years. I've got a friend in Rotherham. He, uh, he got caught, he had possession of, of some drugs. Nothing heavy, just 20, 30 quid's worth of something. He's had a 30-odd 30, 30, 30 month recall over it. Now, if he, so... He, He's, he's not going to want to cause any problems for you or like that. He won't want to go back. So I won't read too much into it. He's not going to come and do you, in, is he? I give him money. He's what, he, what he's thinking of doing. So, you know, do what he's got to do. Yeah, yes, I know I'm just, I'm just telling him what I think of him. Yeah, he's a crackhead old cunt, and that's it. You know, and I've got nothing else to say to him. Um, like I say, if he wants to come forward a little bit more, yeah. speak to his the person he's putting up in front. I'm very close with the brother. And we'll, we'll speak if it was a speech to me. But I'll still speak to him about a gentleman and put him straight on it. You know what I mean? It's all bollocks. Pure fucking shit he's talking about. Well, I don't think after that interview he did that you and him are going to hold hands and sing, we are the world, we are the future. Are you? It's not going what to do you do with a fucking granddad anyway? Anyway, Russ, enough of him. Yeah. Time out on him. All right, <laughs> we'll waste the time. I've said my bit. Ray, you're a cunt. You're a fucking... Right, so... Uh, You've Brackage, never met him before ball. in your life. You've never killed his dog, and you've never been to his house with. I like... fucking love dogs, like I said before. I know I that. Mate. The dogs. Do you know what I mean? I know that. Do you know yeah. what, mate? You know, you know what? Actually, you went up in my estimation when you sent me them screenshots of your. You've got a dog symmetry on your land, aren't you? We all railings around it, and have you spent a lot of money on Listen, it? Haven't you? I've got two of my ex dogs. Yeah. Which I buried in my backfield, like I say to you, you know, uh, proper things. M my mate's an undertaker, so he came over. We done the proper box for them, had it made a measure. Yeah. Got got a mini digger in my pal and done it properly, mate. And and they are resting like a palace where they are. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's what that's the respect I get I had for my dogs. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. They're with me. They're, they're, they're they live with us still, but they're in the garden. You know what I mean? And well, that's good, that because I, I like people that like pets. I'm a big pet lover, as you know, mate. And you know, dogs are the, they're your best friends, aren't they? If you want loyalty, get they're the best, mate. They're the best. <clears throat> you know, the funny thing is, what bothers me about this, and I'm not going to say the guy's name, and it were actually a long time ago, but I were in prison and somebody were in there, and he he got a uh, you get 12 months for now for torturing an animal. If you torture somebody's dog and kill him, you get 12 months on a guilty. They give you an eight month and knock a third off. So, so what you for? So oh, this dog bit me. I said, Oh yeah, how long you get? Eight months. What did you do? I killed it. I said, What, what type of dog? Were it? And they told me, and I was like, Well, they won't bite you. You know, Labrador. It didn't didn't add up. And things like that bother me. You know, thing, things like that. It always, always plays on my mind about dogs and that because they're defenseless, aren't they? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. I'm lucky out here. Now. I said, Go on, scoot, because he'll be jumping about you and. But he'll be if I open that door and I'll be at that door there waiting for me at bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah, dogs, definitely. Dogs love you for who you are. They don't want no off you. Definitely. They don't want anything of you. 
off you. And all them people mm. out here who are dog lovers, like my mate Dale, and there's, there's other people who've got dogs, they'll all be sat with the dogs. Now, I always go back to years ago, I had a Rottweiler like you, and he were called Buster, and my ex-missus at the time wouldn't have him in house. And, mm. and our relationship went downhill from there. I lived at Bawtree at the time. She'd say, you're not coming in here. You're not coming in here. And we had him chained up outside with a kennel. And this, this is a true story. This, And it bothered me for the last few months that I was with her. Really, really bothered me. But what he did, the dog, he actually was chained up and somebody actually stashed some cannabis in some sand next to where his kennel was. My dog dug it up, my dog dug it up. And when I got up in the morning, I fed him and he was wagging his tail. And I thought, what's that there in a black bin line? I opened it. Oh, oh, half a nine bar, a soap bar, four and a half ounce of cannabis. I thought, go on, you be. Someone, bur someone buried there? Yeah, the uh, son had some mates and they buried it there. And then I thought, yeah, they must have thought it'll be secure near at Rottweiler and that, <laughs> won't it? Well, yeah, it was secure in Porky's pipe. Let me tell you, <laughs> it. and we got into an altercation of it, but you shouldn't, you shouldn't go stashing something in somebody else's garden, should you? But the point I want to make is dogs are loyal, aren't they? They're the dogs best. Are loyal, mate. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'll go home with my one so comes up, picks, always got to pick up things, you know, and come up and like, you know, greet me in the morning, forget going home, you know. Do you know when you, you go out, Mick, when you leave your house, right. when, when I leave here, my dog goes berserk when I lock that door and I eat, oh, God, that first few minutes when I'm driving off. It, it, and why, I mean, hear stories, he whines and barks and goes berserk, but when I, and when I come back, you know, eight hours later, wagging his tail, jumping up, excited, licking me. Do you get the same sort of thing? Yeah. He's your best mate then, isn't he? Of course he is. That's how you know, you know. When they're not doing that, when they don't do that, they're not your best mate. But I've got two, Russ. I've got two. I've got a bitch as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a bitch Rocky as well, and she's like doing the same as him now, picking up things. And you know, he, yeah. she, he comes up to me, she like nudges him out of the way, and you got I can give them both, you know, you can't just show one more. Have you always oh, had Rottweilers, uh, Mick? Uh, back in the day, I, I, I yeah, I've had Rottweilers. I've had first dog back in the day, four years ago, was a staff, then it was a pit bull. I've had a cut of two, three pit bulls. Um, I was up your, well, not your way, I was up near, just outside Liverpool. When I lived in Manchester, I had a gym up there called Body Power, just outside Witness, in Witness, and I had a pit bull then. And uh, he's in the back garden at the moment with uh, my other Rotty, a bitch Rotty I've got. Um, so there's two of them, there's a pit bull and a, and a Rottweiler uh, in, in, in the grave in the back. Uh, and at the moment, I've got two Rotties, a boy and a bird. You've got headstones so, on them as well, haven't you? Yeah, headstones, everything, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's... Uh... Oh, proper, all proper. proper serious, though. that, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Proper deep. Mm. I'm impressed yeah. by that, mate. I'm impressed by that. Yeah. I don't think I'll be paying for an headstone and a symmetry for my dog when he passes, but that's... Uh... Well, I bet you might be now. I might be, yeah. I might be, yeah. I might be able to, yeah, get, I might be able to get one. Uh, um, you know, if you're staying with your lorry. Why don't you just put him, in your back, you put him in your back garden, Russ? You know what I mean? But put him in, you got, I'm sure you've got space there. Yeah, you have got a bit of space. And you probably will do that. Mm. You know? I might just, I might, I might, uh, I don't know about taping it off with railing. I don't know what made you do no, that. No, listen, he can be in your back garden, mate. And listen, you go out in the back one day and you have a little chat to him. You know what I mean? Is that what you do, mate? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, mate, is there? No, not a bit, mate. Oh, right. I've got two to talk to, though, you know? Yeah. No, it means and, no, uh, yeah. Talk, mate. Listen, you've got no kids, I'm... have you, mate? <clears throat> nah. They're my kids. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's brilliant. That's been Listen, I always love dog lovers. Listen. That's the other side of me. best friend. That's the other side of me, mate. Yeah. yeah. That's not... And I'm proud of it. No problem. All right, then. Well, listen, are you going to watch Box? That tells you I'm, a, that tells you I'm a, a, an animal lover, innit? And that yeah, you are an animal lover, mate. Listen, and that I, I, I'm going to fucking shoot up with people's dogs. I know you're not shooting over his dogs. Anyway, if someone, if someone, if someone got a gun out years ago, as he's saying, yeah. putting my name up, yeah, mm -hmm. surely the old Bill would have fucking sorted them out. He would have fucking told the movies. Who I'd have been arrested many years ago. Yeah. yeah. Simple. Not fucking brain to take that. Out. That video he made out, he were like Robin Hood, didn't he? <laughs> oh fucking hell. I've got a massive big house. I was earning this. I was earning that. Blah, 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 blah. I've never heard of him. My pal who runs that area, never heard of him. 
Never heard of him. He said, I wouldn't even fucking acknowledge that prick, he said to him, my pal. Yeah. <laughs> the brother of that picture. I know who you're on about. I won't say his name. Yeah, you, of course you know. Yeah. But, uh, and I mentioned that he's talking about his brother as well. He's going, he's a cunt. He's amazing. What fuck else to do? <laughs> uh, so, Ray Hill, get in touch with the people who run the area if you want. If you've got any bollocks. Maybe you might need to have a meet with him and, and thrash your different meat. Like fucking meat, mate. Fucking hell. They'll hang him up in a fucking meat cleaver or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I don't know. The perils <laughs> of social media. I don't know. All right, then. Well, listen, it's been great having you on, mate. We've covered a few things. <coughs> We've. Uh, I actually wanted to do this with you a week and you didn't want to. You said, I don't know what you're going on. I know, but listen, I've seen, seen the video and I thought, who's this cunt fucking digging me out? You know what I mean? Eventually, you see fucking it. arsehole, crackhead. You know what I mean? Yeah, don't worry about it. Anyway, what's that top you're wearing? It's the one that you sent up to office for me. I'm glad oh, you're wearing it because my, my one's at home. I said one, to the boys, I wear, I would start wearing your, your tops every time. That's all the sponsors, isn't it? Mickey Theo yeah. sponsors. You've got more sponsors <laughs> than uh, Oara Davis. <laughs> People, hey, listen, people, people are loving what I'm doing for, for a great cause, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I've got the sponsors. And you know what? A lot of them are friends of mine, yeah, in businesses, yeah? Mm. And they're there to support the NHS as well as me, what I'm doing for the NHS, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why they're on there, you know? And I respect that. And thank you very much again to everyone who sponsors yeah. the Team Theo. Um, and thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Um, we're not far away. Well, all we need is crowds back, and I think John uh, might fight. Yeah. I, mean, I, I was speaking to somebody today, and he was saying to me, look, John all fighting went crowds back. I said, you reckon? He went, yeah. So let's hope that he is. I mean, I've heard he's doing a bit of training. That He said the other day he were doing some running, didn't he, every day? Oh, yeah, five miles, 20 well, minutes from the weights, 20 minutes from this, 20 minutes from that. Well, yeah, 20 minutes. Well, he's training like a world champion. Yeah, maybe. He is a world champion on fucking, what's them uh, Ferrari Rochers? Yeah, you see the way he jumped up? And he yeah. was like, yes, you know. There's the soft side to John. That's John all over, you know. You I've seen, seen him doing the old Tom Platts. We're showing his uh, lat spread on that video. Did you see Oh, it? that was another thing. But did, when he had the Ferrari Rochers, then God bless you, so he's ready to increase. You remember? <laughs> Did you see it, Russ? I've seen it. Um, didn't, didn't your mate who, who, who sadly passed away? Yeah, Boom Later. Boom Later fucking done the two, two, oh, chili and some chilies. Yeah, as well. Boominator beat went, records. Yes, yes but John was giving it the yes, yes, you know. Boominator. Anyway, if subscribe. That, listen, yeah. that video with Johnny in, in the, the Ferrari Rushes, um, that is John all over, you know. Yeah. I know what he's all about, you know. He's probably a, a lovely person behind it all. You yeah. don't have to give it a big one in life. You just be who you are. You know what I mean? You know, when um, John, John meets you, mate, do you know what will happen? What? It'll be two handshakes. It's two hands. And they'll have it, you'll have it, you'll shake hands and he'll go, hey, we're just trying to sell a fight, won't we? They'll just give it that. Because I've seen Tyson at pressers. <laughs> I've beef with fighters. Then after, they just see where we're just trying to sell a fight. And that's just what happens in boxing. It's like, we had that incident in Bubble the other day, didn't they? Richard Towers and Neil Marsh. And after, yeah. everybody's shaking hands. And then after the fight tonight, everybody will be, you know, all pals. And I hope so, anyway. Cause that's what's will you be pals with him still? With Richard? No, with John. With, uh, John. You think you're a blowjob. I'm just saying that I'm a blowjob around Dennis and Peter Fury because I've never been yeah, a blowjob but... around them, never. Yeah. No, no, I've never, never. I've never... I never took anything off that. You know, me and me and Dennis were always at loggerheads for five and a half. No, hours. but what John said that you're a fucking blowjob. Oh, I've got children. Will, that, will you still be friends with him? Well, Only if he apologizes. Apologizes? No, I, I would just say okay. Well, I apologize, accepted. I'm, I'm not going to be having him around for Sunday lunch, am I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I mean, because he won't turn up. He won't <laughs> turn up, would he? <laughs> <laughs> They've been persecuted for 400 years, you bastards! I remember that one. But I find him amusing, and a lot of people do find John amusing, but deep down, he's not a bad bloke, but 
he's said that I'm a blow job. I can't have that. And he said to you, he'll smash your teeth down your throat. And he's, he's I can't have that either. I cannot have that either. No, okay? I can't have that. So come and smash me fucking teeth in. Yeah. You blow your fucking wanker. Yeah. Is that a good one? Blow your wanker. <laughs> uh, it's a bit classless that making it <laughs> classless fucking I don't give a fuck what it is <laughs> uh, look, at the end of the day I think that you and him will get at it John will accept I mean I watched that <laughs> film earlier we uh, James Quinn the fighting man from Ireland he's had loads of fights I've watched a few documentaries about him James Quinn from Ireland he's a fantastic bare knuckle fighter he's a proper legend like Dan Rooney and I've watched a lot of his stuff and he said in this interview with Liam Galvin that uh, John uh, has to, this is 10 months ago, he has to fight for his for his family's name and things like that. Well, exactly. both haven't fought. And I'd rather listen to James Quinn because the guy asked him, have you seen John have a fight? He went, no, 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 I haven't seen him have a fight. Is there any footage of John fighting? He says, no. So there's nobody so why, saying anything. So why are, are, are all these people that are coming out saying that he'll smash you, he'll do this to you, RIP, you know, I don't know what at the beginning. When they haven't, no one's seen him fight or nobody knows anything about him. Well, I'm going to tell you an answer to that. And this is a very, very simple answer. People want to be associated with the heavyweight champion of the world's father. They want to put their name into it, mix. I mean, I've met Joe Egan a few times. He's Robbie Meads, probably came to Dennis's dad's. Well, if you could call it a funeral, they threw out his body, didn't they, and sent it to America. But he came to the big evening to celebrate Dennis's dad's life. And he's yeah. buying his commie. I had a chat with Joe and he seemed all right. In fact, I felt I feel a bit embarrassed, actually, because I said, Joe, come on, let's go in the toilet and have a sniff. He went, oh, that's not for me, Porky. So I gave him respect, but obviously I was at my tree at the time. And then I see John Joe Egan coming out, doing all, exerting himself into the 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 stories about how John Fury is this and that and blah, 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 blah. basically. How he's a gentleman and I should meet that Mickey Theo should be calling him a chicken, disrespecting probably, him. Joe Egan's bad. probably met John Fury about five times in his life. We were talking about yeah. it. Yeah. People are knackers. People exert themselves and put themselves <laughs> into positions where it benefits themselves. Now that guy, James Quinn, he's something I've got respect for because he told it straight. The guy said, have you seen John Fury fight? He went, no. Have you seen any footage of him fighting? And he went, no. <laughs> He's a tough guy. So fair enough. But other people will put themselves in the position not to arse like this. Just they want to be seen to be not... They want to be sitting on fence, so to speak. But this is how Listen, I look at it. Pete, let me just finish this, mate. This is how I look at it. I've seen John Fury fight. Right? I've seen him fight. I were ringside when he fought Neil Malpass from Doncaster. Seen it with my own eyeballs. That was 32 years ago. So if that were his best 32 years ago, what is he going to be like now? That's how I look at it from a personal point of view. That's right. So, but it is what it is. He wants to call me a blowjob. I've been called a lot worse. <laughs> but mm. he needs to get at it with you. When you and him meet, if it's at a show or whatever, there needs to be firework. It needs to go off. I don't want to hear any of this, oh, we need to do it for NHS and all that. If you meet at a show, you've got to get at it, me, can't you? Russ, Russ, it is for the NHS, but we're going to go at it properly, mate. Well, I am anyway. He can do what he wants. You know what I mean? <clears throat> this is this is not, as like I said to you on something else, it's not that. It's a proper fight. It's not like Mike Tyson and um, Roy Joe Jr.'s, how they were fucking about. You know, this is, I'm, I'm taking this as a serious fight. You know what I mean? Although it's for the NHS, yeah, it's it's going to be all out blows. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how it is. I'm not going to count them punts about and fucking run around and mess about and fuck about. Yeah, it's nah, it's a fight, isn't it? Worst thing full like... hands on, mate. It's going to be full hands on. Yeah. Hey, the worst thing that can happen if you fight <laughs> Big John Fury, Big John Fury, you're messing with me, I'm the best. If you fight Big John Fury and you turn up, if you if you turn up and fight him, the worst case scenario is <laughs> get knocked out. That's the worst case. You're not going to get that. Can you tell him that? Can you fucking tell him that? 
Yeah, but it's the same for John. That's the worst case. Right, yeah, sure. you'll knock him out, or he knocks you out, or it's a stinker, and and, and they call it a draw for the sake of no kickoffs after. That's that's look, it's got to happen, hasn't it? Because it's done your <laughs> at head. least it, at least it happens. It's my head in. It's doing my head in. It's got to happen. It's got to happen, <laughs> can it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Listen, I want it to happen. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, and I think it will happen. Listen, him. I'll, I'll rephrase this. John Fury apparently called me out a, a, a day before the Sunday was up. He wanted to fight on. He wanted to fight, challenge me to come up to Manchester and fight the next day, basically. Yeah. But there's no money, me going up to there and fighting him. There's no money going to be raised for the NHS. So it's pointless, even in back gardens. That's what I'm saying. We're doing a ring correctly and proceeds will go to the NHS and the mental health and whatever other we can put it on, you know? Yeah, but Someone was talking to me about the army, you know, uh, there's a special name to it. You know, when army guys, um, they retire from the army or they get blown up, shot, whatever, and they're still alive and they're cripples. And I don't say that in a horrible way, I say in a respectful way, because them guys, you know, are fighting for us. And they get pushed to one side by us, I've heard, you know. This is coming from the supercar finder that used to find my cars back in the day, you know. Yeah. And he's got the car, that guy. And he, because he mentioned it to me the other day, and he said, the amount of army people out there that have served for the country and get absolutely fuck all out of the government, yeah? Some of them are homeless. Some of them don't have money to fucking feed themselves, you know? Oh. That would be a great cause. That would be a great, another great cause to put it to, you know? I believe. Yeah, but we can get carried away by doing it for for too many charities, can't we? Yeah, I know what you're saying, but listen, it's it's a great it's a great thought that come up from him, which he's actually an army boy, to tell me that people have gone over and fought for the country. Some have got like legless, armless, you know, and they get they get absolutely nothing from the government, you know. They get no support at all or help. But anyway, that's the thing to consider down the line anyway. All right, here's another one. What about 20 people turn up at the fight? They all pay 500 quid each. That's 10 grand. What about that going to charity? Just Listen, anything we can anything we can do to, to, towards a, a I'll charity. I'll 500 pound it, Pot, and I know yeah. another nine people who will, and John will know 10 people that will. So that's 10 grand, isn't it? Yeah. And you're, you and John, anyway. no, no money out of it and get at it. What about that? So I'm ready, mate. Yeah. But it's got to be done properly. It's got to be, you know, we need to get, make as much money as we can for these these uh, these events and um, charity events we're doing, you know, um, and good causes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's so much to think about. It's another avenue, isn't it, Mick? Mm, definitely. Yeah. So, all right then. Well, listen, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming on. And obviously, have you got a well, message for Ray Hills before uh, we uh, part? For the cracking. Stop well, talking bollocks. Isn't he? he said he's ex cracking. Stop, stop talking bollocks, my friend. Like I say, speak to the family if you want to meet me, if you want to meet me, because I ain't going to come for you because you're an old man. And I don't take things, bollocks, that's, talk, that's been said on the internet that's got nothing to do with me at all. Keep me out of your life. I don't want to be associated with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What I say to you. And be humble, mate. You're fucking 80 years of age. Don't talk like a cunt, a plastic gangster. Yeah. Hey, that's all I say to you. And take it on board. All right then, mate. No problem. All right then. Well, listen, it's been a pleasure. I hope you're well. Have a good evening. Likewise. Evening. I'll leave you to... Uh, I'm going to watch Liverpool now play Everton. But uh, I hope uh, you have a good evening and watch the Sky Boxing tonight, mate. All right, yeah, mate. I'm going to tune in. I did I did watch the Warrants, Josh Warrington the other day. I mean, I did tell you I wasn't really into it, but I watched it the other day. I think Josh had about an off day that day. Um, it looked like he was really off. I can see. And, and do you know what? He let the guy take advantage of him. He knew the guy had power behind him, yeah? Um, and once you do that in a fight, it throws you out completely, you know? He, he can't be doing that, you know? He should have just nailed him, put his foot down, and done what he had to do. Do you, but, think, uh, the, do you think Josh Warrington might have took his eye off at ball? 100%. Or do you think his punch resistance has gone? Um, I think he had an off day. I'll put it down to an off day. I won't say he's finished at the moment. Depending on when he comes back, if he comes back and he has a fight, if he can put that right, he's still okay. If he can't, yeah. then it's time time to really hang the gloves up, I think. Yeah. 
All right. But uh, yeah, do you know what? I think I think it was the fourth round when he when he, when he put him down, and I didn't think he was a mate to count, and he, you know he, he did come back. Well, it was touch and go after that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, mate. It was touch and go. And if I was his corner, I would have probably pulled him out before that because he was he was getting tanks and shots. And the guy's a tough cookie, the other fella. Yeah. But anyway, that was that. A little uh, heads up on that. I did watch it in the end. And, uh... All right, then. I'm just trying to think at thumbnail that I'm going to get my friend uh, from Jab Apparel to do for uh, for this because they do all thumbnails for me now. Jab Apparel. Okay. Little trackies and that, don't they? And stuff like that. Clothing wear. But... All right. Is is really Johnny uh, Johnny Owen is really good on these thumbnails. So I'm trying to think now, what thumbnail to put on this? Shall I put one of you and 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 Ray Ells, and maybe Johnny background <laughs> and Porky Logan? Yeah, listen, you you you're great what you do. So uh, do we got to do? And uh, I'm trying to out. All right, well, well, I'm not going to put this out this week, and I'm going to put it out next week and that. Right. I don't want to kill it. Well, yeah, and we've obviously spoke about the Ray Hills incident, and you've finally covered it, and and, and obviously about you going down with like, I mean, you and Lenny with McLean walking around with shooters on somebody's land. Uh, Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. Well, it, it all seems I'm a sure, bit far fetched. I'm sure. It? I'm sure he had video footage of it as well. If if it was true, bring it forward. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You know, just one of these cunts. You know what I mean? But God, fuck all else better, dude. You know what I mean? Talk a load of bollocks. Yeah. Talk anyway, we're not going to lose sleep over it. Um, he okay. just made himself look a right fucking crackhead. No good cunt, didn't he? Yeah. Excuse my French, everybody. No, Sorry. We're not going to get paid for this video anyway. We're not going to get me two yeah. quid for this video. <laughs> you never know. Ray Hill, no. Ray Hill might pump up your, um, because he's a well known gangster, he might pump up the fucking numbers, the viewers. You know what I mean? Well, I've never even heard of him, but hey, listen, let's well, you might have to start and you might have to start entertaining him, fucking, you know what I mean, doing some podcasts with him. Fucking hell, I don't want him anywhere near me, mate. Russ, you better not, mate, because you might end up with a fucking <laughs> He's uh, yeah, I know I am a bit weak around all yeah. like that, mate. I don't need all that, that around me. <laughs> Before I know where I am, I'll be weighing everything in. I don't in. know how to do this. How do you do it, Russ? <laughs> what do you do? I've got one here. <laughs> <laughs> Like that. You, get that's it. you get a light, you get a lighter, and you go like that. You put lighter into it, and but that's Have they got the, new, the, the nice flame ones now that really fucking blows it in and burns it properly. Because <laughs> <laughs> the other one burns your hands and it's got to keep jumping back. What you've got to watch from Nick is burning your fingers. <laughs> with light, with your fingers, lighter. yeah, exactly. But uh, that's way back back in the day when I used to... I mean, you need a pipe one, a special pipe one, oh, didn't you? Pipe burner. Talking about crack here, Mick, I've woke up and I've smoked that much crack. Somebody's turned around to me and said, I'll see you at tea time with that two grand. I've gone, what are you on about two grand? They've gone, yeah, you... Back in, back then, gold were, were, weren't worth as much as it is now. It's mass, It's gold's astronomical prices now, but back then I thought, God, I put my chain up against a session of that with a couple of pals. And my pals were on were on Skid Row, and I were like, "Oh my god, I'm going to find about two large here." So I ended up having to sort it, but that was a harsh lesson. And it's one of them addicted drugs. It's not, I never had a problem with that. I had a problem with heroin, but I, I wasn't yeah. going around to rob for it. Obviously, I had, I had a scrap metal business and things like that. Yeah, like that trick. Yeah, he's earning so much money with his geezer, this fucking what's his name, Mickey Gooch or whatever. He fucking robbed him as well to come dirty bastard, eh? Oh, that Ray, did he? Yeah, he says it. He said, uh, I took a load of gear. I said, get a load of gear off him. And he goes, I said, sell it all. And then, obviously, he started to crack and he gave him the money. So he's fucked his, his best pal that fucking put him in the work. No, I, when, I, when, I, when I were a drug addict, I, uh, I don't like talking about this, but I'll, I might as well put it out. I think I might have mentioned it once before. My my, I used to get up every day and I knew that I had to find £150. So I used yeah. to find it in the morning. Especially up north, it's a lot of money, isn't it? Well, in Wheatley All Road in Doncaster, there's about 25 main dealer car places. So I had all body shops. So yeah. all round back, they give me wings, doors, bonnets. All oh, right, yeah, you don't know. Not from all cars that are damaged. Yeah. And I'd go round them all and I'd collect every day. And then I'd weigh in, but I knew that I had to get, get I, I needed 250 for a day just to break even before you even put food on the table, mate. But I was well. selfish at the time. 
So I had a lad with me, I pay him, you pay your fuel, you have your dinner and that, and I'd give me 150 for drugs. Anything else, I'd put it in pot. And l- luckily, I were, all, I were all right, but it went on for ages. And eventually, you start off with a nice tip of truck and you might have a nice car, but your car seems to go down. You could have like, I mean, years ago, I had like a two-year-old Omega, Vauxhall Omega, which isn't a big car now, but, you know, a couple of year old Omega back in yeah. 20 years ago or maybe about 21, 22 years ago, eventually that car becomes like a 400 quid. You go down from like, I can, and I look, and I look back now and I think, God, I, I, I just kept trading it in and going down and down and down until I like in one that wouldn't start. <laughs> and then you yeah. think, oh, I think I might. Sad, isn't it? Really, really sad. Tipper truck. Well, that, then well, that does like, sound. In a tipper truck, I had an Iveco, we were a tipper. <laughs> Eventually, he ended up in a Ford Escort van. Uh, and you can't get all scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> so eventually, you know, it catches up with you. And obviously, I ended up in jail. And you got to call it a day, didn't you? I bet that was hard to give up, wasn't it? I went to jail, didn't I, in 2002, come out of four. That's what helped you, mate. That's, that cleaned you up. I remember, actually, it's funny thing is, I went for my trial. I went for the last day of my trial at Donny Crown Court. I got found guilty, actually. And when I got to entrance, I thought, I'm going to get guilty. And I had all my stuff with me, and I'd be arse packed up with all these tablets that people were saying, oh, you'll be able to just use them tablets every day. You'll you'll reduce your sin. And I had loads of weed up there as well. And I, and I turned around, I thought, fuck it, I'm not going for a verdict. And my barrister went, come on, we're going to go not guilty today. He was just walking into court, and we went in and that. Put all your stuff over there, leave it with them. You're going home today. Went in, I went guilty and ended up with three years, seven months on my last big sentence. Three, seven uh, and I was like, okay. and then, and then obviously, he end, then in uh, 2002, all jails were locked down, weren't they? Because they were chocker. I ended up in a police station at Queen's Garden in Hull because it was like a container unit. No light in cell. This is the true story. No light in cell. No fag lighter. I've got mm. weed on me. No skin, no rizzlers, no back. No, I'm thinking, this can't get any worse here. I'm rattling yeah. my bollocks off, you know, doing cold turkey. I thought, well, I might as well do it and and because uh, I've started it and it were five week. So I've got this weed on me. Five week, I couldn't know. I'm been there a week, I'm four week in all. Then I went to New Orleans. But looking back on it now, it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me, I think. Yeah. Can't Things happen can for you. No offense, can you? you, you see, yeah, yeah. I don't know. But we, we learn from it, don't we? But no, I yeah. I'm not, not going to go out and score a 20 stone tonight, make a, a crack. So don't be worried about that because I'm too strong willed now. But there would have been a time where that, the word, the actual word crack, it would have gone, Woo! it would have triggered me. And I would have yeah, yeah, it all yeah. night. And then you need yeah. to come down, don't you? Otherwise, you have craving. Yeah. Yeah. I'm over that now, but. Mm-hmm. He's come through all that addiction and that. He's done well, but he's obviously mm-hmm. his head's gone. If he, his head's gone, if he's making up stories about your kids, yeah. and, I don't know. I just maybe maybe he might have been having a bad day, and might, maybe he, he thought he met you know forty senior women. Listen, one day. I, I hope he had a bad day, you know, and uh, I accept his apologies for for it. You know, maybe uh, it's, it's, you know, I mean, people are taking such substances, they might come out with a load of rubbish. And uh, yeah, we got we got to forgive these people sometimes. We? Yeah, I mean, he might not. Uh, he might just be having a bad day. But like I say, he's an old guy, isn't he? And your memory's good, aren't it? When you get older. Yeah, but how can an old guy talk like that unless he's taking something? I believe he's taking something. You know, he might be taking fucking Charlie or something. To, ah, you know, we'll wake him up. <laughs> um, well, but anyway, no, it is no. what it is. I said what I had to say. Um, and apologies for being the rude and the, the yeah, swearing of uh, a little bit. Uh, you know, it's not normally normally me like you've met me in, in person, much, and I'm not that type of person. No, well, listen, it's like anything, you know, you know, it's like a dog, a plastic dog. You fucking keep kicking a dog, he's gonna bite you, isn't he? So it's, it's yeah. the same thing. I mean, he's got feelings, he's got you know, everything. So, but anyway, nice no picture. Nice. nice to speak to you. Have a good weekend. I will. And uh, we'll probably speak, catch up next week and do something uh, uh, as we normally do. All right, then, mate. You take care. God bless. Love to the family, Russ, and the dog. Oh, and uh, take care, mate. Cheers, Pike. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. Take care, mate. Bye. 
Man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. I need to know everything. Who in the what in the where? Boxes are cut from a different cloth. They have determination and discipline. And in life, that is what you need to excel. I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. Now you be surprised at the info you get is by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk. Gotta keep quiet, maneuver in science, then let them in talk up their body. So in theory, by the time they leave here in two years, they're gonna have five A levels worth of accreditations, okay? Which puts them in such good stead going into university, higher education, the world of work, into industry, if they wanna do that, okay? And we can give them them opportunities as they go through this two year course to broaden their knowledge, broaden their experience and hopefully get into the industry of sport if that's what they choose to do. I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, a five and a horse, I'm ready. Any young boxer who's got aspirations of trying to make it and be a success in the sport, this is a great platform to put them on that road to success. We provide specialist training for them in terms of attacking and learning more about their technical and tactical skills, the physical skills that they have to do. So it's a broad programme in what we do. We're not like a one size fits all. We, we, we tailor this course to the individual needs of each boxer and each style of boxer. Love's done. I gotta read all my trade publications and sit my teeth till it is all done. I think it's all fun. I need to know everything. Who in the world and where I need everything. Okay, so once they've finished the academy and they've achieved the qualifications, both DICE, both BTEC. We give them the tools to go on to further education. So whether that is in our university program or other universities, we have those links. And again, this can push them into that career or further education if they choose to do that. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>